Mark and Chris in studio talking best hockey players of all time this yes. morning. Getting lots of great feedback and uh, people saying players from every every era. Mario Lemieux came up recently as well. I would like to uh, change my vote. Me too. <laughs> I know exactly what you're going to say, and I'm down. As well, eh? uh, and I originally said Wayne Gretzky. For, yeah. you know, I mean, the entire body of work. But if you look at just sort of what's happened in hockey over the past little while, yeah, there's a name that's really uh, sticking out for me. Let's hear it, man. Laura Fortino. Welcome to the studio. Gold medalist, Laura Fortino. So happy to have you here. How are you doing this morning? Great. How are you? Not too bad. Bright and early for you, eh? Yes. You're I not am. doing the training regimen, so you're not up so early. No. But you're doing the interview circuit. Yes. And you've gone to like a ton of games over the past little while, yeah. getting honored at games. You don't just get hosed for $600 to go watch the Leafs <laughs> lose. You actually get to go and stand on the ice and yeah. you've been honored. Mm -hmm. You got to go to the Heritage Classic as well? Yeah. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Can I just say, this is the first time I've ever got a chance to meet a gold, me gold medalist. Yeah. It is such a nice medal. <laughs> first of all <laughs> buddy it's beautiful <laughs> why do you not constantly wear that around your neck like if it was me i would be like flava flave i would have that thing around my neck and just you, like you said you have, we are the champions playing in just the background wailing, we are the champions maybe <laughs> walk in a room and just point up everywhere you go <laughs> yes just point up you're so humble about the whole thing yeah i am i mean i just too uh scared to drop it or ruin <laughs> yeah. it or scratch it i mean such and a beautiful thing i don't want to ruin it has has the whole thing sunk in yet? Like, when when does that really happen? Is it sort of the later on that night when you get a chance to hang with all the rest of the girls and, and really just let it, hey, we just beat the Americans again? Yeah. I mean, for me personally, I don't think it really has fully set in. I, bet I mean, I've gone home and it's been a whirlwind for me. And I mean, I just haven't had that time to actually think of everything we've accomplished. Because you got the gold medal assist, right? Yes. Huge. Yeah. Yeah. Did Wait. you see the end of that game? Oh, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, can you just pass me that pan? I don't want to write something down. Oh, Thank my you. God. Big what mass. a pass. Yes. 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 Gold medal pass. Hands. <laughs> just unbelievable hands. What a pass. That's so, big time. There you go. Sorry, we had yeah. to do that. We had to be part of it. <laughs> yeah. I needed to get something passed to me from a gold medal. I'm such a loser. I just sat like, I wish I could be a part of it. Here, this is the way I can do it. Exactly. <laughs> so I can help. Uh, congratulations is yes. really the, the biggest I mean, thing that anybody can say is just, I mean, congratulations for making uh, all Canadians proud. Um, thank and, you even. Oh, yeah. Just <laughs> like, I don't even know what to Thank say. you for beating the Americans <laughs> is the biggest thing. And exactly. We were just talking uh, while uh, music was playing there that when it comes to rivalries in sports, you know, I mean, you got the Leafs and the Habs, a little bit of the Leafs and the Sens, you got, you know, I mean, some soccer ones. Canada, U.S., women's hockey. Generally, there isn't a lot of uh, body contact in women's hockey. When you guys play the Americans, it's an absolute just bloodbath. I thought there's going to be a brawl at the end. <laughs> Do you prepare for that like ahead of time? Do you think as a team like okay, this isn't this isn't Finland, this isn't Sweden, this is this is the holy grail. We got to beat uh, we got to beat these ones. Yeah, I mean, I think the intensity level rises that much more. I mean, we're each other's biggest competitors, and we both want to win gold and mm -hmm. be number one in the world. And when it comes down to it on the ice, there's no such thing as friends, and uh, we battle to to, our, to the last straw. I mean, we give it our all for sure. Nice. Is there a lot of uh, is there a lot of chirping in women's hockey? Do you guys chirp each other a lot? I mean, yeah, there, there's a few <laughs> that uh, take that role on. <laughs> I wouldn't say nice. I am. I'm probably the worst out there, so I uh, try not to. Open my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we've been talking all morning about uh, who is the best player of all time. Who is the best player of all time for you? Ray Bork. Ray Bork. Wow. Boston Bruin, Colorado Avalanche. Yep. Ray Bork. Good choice. Why? Why Ray Bork? What's What's the uh, rationale? I think growing up, that was my dad's favorite player. Oh, it's also. been forced on you. I can Passed see that. Down. <laughs> I can see that. I can see that. No, I just admired him, and uh, he's a defenseman, and I really watched him play over the years, and I loved how he played, and I've looked up to him, and I think overall, too, he's just, he was a great ambassador for the game, and Absolutely. he was a great leader, and he really promoted a lot of positive things, and I really admired that of him. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by this morning. Thank Gold you. medalist. Great pass, too, by great the way. Great pass, yeah. Like, in that game, as well as this morning when you passed Chris. <laughs> I was just right. talking about now. I've never been handed a pen like that before in my life. <laughs> Phenomenal. A phenomenal just pass. soft hands. you got to <laughs> love that. Thank you so much for stopping by this thank morning. You. Thank you so much for letting me touch your gold no medal problem. as well. <laughs>